Oh, there was a, a real togetherness against Torquay and, and the fact that it was the result was achieved without three key members of, of the spine of the team in Joe, Damon and Charlie. Did that the response overall made that result, even though it wasn't necessarily what we wanted, made the result pleasing? No, as I say, I said before, we won games, we want to be winning games. Uh, but I thought it was important that we kept a clean sheet and we made a few changes. Uh, we lost boys through injury. Um, and for the players to show the, the spirit that they did, you know, because it's, it's not easy um, for as much as the, result, the previous result was a terrible result. It's not easy to come back from that as quickly as they did. Um, so to show the fine spirit they did, I'm sure the fans appreciated that. And although we never get the, the, the win that we, we wanted, uh, I think they would have been happy with the, the fight that the boys showed, um, getting a clean sheet. And we look forward to all training on Saturday. Now that there are decisions to be made after those five changes, you you would think maybe that the players that did come in for Torquay will maybe expect to keep the shirt. Yeah, and quite rightly so. You know they've come in and shown that they're they're true worth in the team, um, and it's about maintaining these standards. Uh, we can't afford to drop below standards that we've set. We know we can get better um, as a team, um, but also shows that the strength in the you know the the bench that we're able to you know have our captain sitting at the bench you know and other players that are you know played a lot of games throughout the season um, but it's about these players playing at their true standards and keeping themselves on the team now and that gives you some happy problems I presume yeah it's you know never you know easy dropping players but it's decisions that you've got to make and I felt that uh, Saturday uh, just passed, we had to make the decisions um, and you know, it worked out for us. Um, but you know, having guys like Jim and Sean and Reese on the bench and Charlie Walker hopefully coming back um, gives us strength and depth. And seeing the bigger picture, there's there's no room for letting up. Players are, are playing for next season, playing for, playing for contract here, playing for their futures overall. Yeah, but first and foremost, they've got to concentrate on what they're doing for older shot in that pitch. They can forget about everything else. You know, the most important thing is the next game against Altrincham, um, and they'll only get a new contract or get a contract somewhere else if they're doing well for older shot. You know, so that is the what's the onus is on them to go and do that. Um, but first and foremost, they've got to do well for older shot. The clean sheet last Saturday was was an important platform, but you'll be going to Altrincham looking for for three points, I presume. Yeah, well, at home we had a clean sheet, we scored two goals, uh, two good goals, um, and we got there, we know they're fighting for their lives uh, down at the bottom, so it's not going to be easy, um, but it's about us, you know, preparing properly for, you know, what's going to be a, a difficult game as they're fighting for their lives, and we must be ready for that, um, but hopefully, if we get, you know, the opportunity to get the ball down and play, uh, then we'll show two qualities and get three points and come back down the road. They're on a run of one win in 14, but much earlier in the season they beat Grimsby, Tranmere and Cheltenham at home. Dangerous opponents on their day, what, what do you expect from them? No, as I say, they're fighting for their lives, you know, and that makes them a difficult proposition. Uh, and we've got to be ready for that, you know, it's a, another trip up on the day, um, you know, four hours, but the boys have to deal with that and be ready for the game. Um, and, you know, I'm sure they will be. Does Lee Sinnott's resignation change things at all? Does that make them a bit more unpredictable that even though it's the assistant who's taken over they may, there may be a few changes that, that he's implemented very soon? Well he'd made a few changes from the, the previous week, um, last week uh, so you know but for as much as we respect opposition and do our homework on them we've got to concentrate more on ourselves and make sure that we do the right things and go up there defend properly as a team um, first and foremost and then hopefully we you know, the qualities that we've got, we can create chances and put them away. Does that travelling up on the day change any any approach? Is, is it almost taking it back to basics, a, a kind of get there, get the job done and get out quickly? Yeah, that's what, you know, what we've been saying to the boys, it's a case of getting up there, you know, getting in, getting ready, getting on the pitch and getting three points and coming back down the road as quickly as possible. Um, and you know that's the mentality they've got to go go with. You know, forget all, everything else. It's about getting on the pitch and doing the job and getting back down the road. As I said earlier, you missed 
three key players last Saturday. How's the squad looking? Um, well, Joel definitely be ruled out. Uh, Damo, as we know, is ruled out for the season. Um, and Charlie's um, close. We just don't know whether he'll make it for Saturday. It'll be touching over there, makes it for Saturday. He might make a place in the bench. Obviously, you don't want to risk him and then him suffer, suffer a setback. Yeah, well, you know, he's got ankle ligament um, problems. Um, he has trained to a certain degree this week, but we don't want to rush him right in um, because if he does any more damage to it, then he could be out for the season and we can't afford that.